We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 4, Chapter number 25, Description of the Characteristics of King Puranjan. Text number 5, Rajovacha na janami mahabhaga na janami mahabhaga param karma pavidhadi param karma pavidhadi Param karma pavidhadi Param karma pavidhadi Bruhi me vimalam gyanam Bruhi me vimalam gyanam Yena mochyeya karma be Yena much ye ya karma be Na janam mahabhagha Param karma pavidadi Bruhi me vimalam gyanam Yena much ye ya karma be Na janami mahabhagha Param karma pavidadi Bruhi me vimalam gyanam Yena muche ya karma be Najana Mahabhaga Param Karma Pavidati Bruhi me vimalam gyanam Yena moche ya karma bi Najanami Mahabhaga Ruhi me vimalam gyanam Yeya moche ya karma bi Rajanami Mahabhaga Param Karma Pavidadi Bruhi me vimalam gyanam Yena mochyeya karma bi Rajovacha the king replied, Na, not, Janami, I know, Mahabhaga, O great soul, Param, transcendental, Karma, by fruit of activities, Apavidha, being pierced, D, D, my intelligence, my intelligence. Bruhi, Bruhi, please tell, please tell. Me, me, to me, me. Bimalam, spotless, spotless. Gyanam, Gyanam, knowledge, knowledge. Yena, Yena, by which, by which. Mayaya, Mayaya, I can get relief. Karma B from the fruit of activities. Translation 
The king replied, O oh, great soul Narad, my intelligence is entangled in fruitive activities. Therefore, I do not know the ultimate goal of life. Kindly instruct me in pure knowledge so that I can get out of the entanglement of fruitive activities. You can all repeat. The king replied, The king replied, O oh, great soul Narada. O oh, great soul Narada. My intelligence is entangled. My intelligence is entangled. In fruitive activities. In fruitive activities. Therefore I do not know. Therefore I do not know. The ultimate goal of life. The ultimate goal of life. Kindly instruct me. Kindly instruct me. In pure knowledge. In pure knowledge. So that I can get out. So that I can get out. Of the entanglement of fruitive activities. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. Sri Naratam Das Thakur has sung Sat Sangha Chadi Kainu Asate Vilas Te Karane Te Karane Te karan e lagila ye karma banda pansa. The meaning is as long as a person is entangled in fruitive activities, he is bound to accept the body, one body after another. This is called karma banda, karma banda pansa. Entanglement in fruitive activities. It does not matter whether one is engaged in pious or impious activities, for both are causes for further entanglement in material bodies. By pious activities one can take birth in a rich family and get a good education and a beautiful body. But this does not mean that the distresses of life are ultimately liberated, eliminated. In the western countries it is not unusual for one to take birth in a rich aristocratic family, nor is it unusual for one to have a good education and a very good looking body. But this does not mean that Westerners are free from the distresses of life. Although at the present moment the younger generation in Western countries has sufficient education, beauty and wealth, and although there is enough food, clothing and facilities for sense gratification, they are in distress. Indeed, they are so distressed that they become hippies and the laws of material and the laws of nature force them to accept a wretched life. Thus they go about unclean and without shelter or food and they are forced to sleep in the street. It can be concluded that one cannot become happy by simply performing pious activities. It is not a fact that those who are born with a silver spoon in their mouth are free from the material miseries of birth, old age, disease and death. The conclusion is that one cannot be happy by simply executing pious or impious activities. Such activities simply cause entanglement and transmigration from one body to another. Naratam Das Thakur calls this karma banda pansa. King Prachini Barishat admitted this fact and frankly asked Narada Muni how he could get out of this karma banda pansa entanglement 
in fruitive activities. This is actually the stage of knowledge indicated in the first verse of Vedanta Sutra, Atato Brahma Jignasa. When one actually reaches the platform of frustration in an attempt to discharge karma bandha pansa, he inquires about the real value of life, which is called Brahma Jignasa. In order to inquire about the ultimate goal of life, the Vedas, Mundaka Upanishad, enjoins Tadvigyanartam Sagurum Eva Bigachit. In order to understand the transcendental science, one must approach a bona fide spiritual master. King Prachina Bharishat found the best spiritual master, Narada Muni, and he therefore asked him about that knowledge by which one can get out of the entanglement of karma bandha pansa, fruitive activities. This is the actual business of human life. Jivasya tadva jignasa narto yas cheha karma be. As stated in the second chapter of the first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, a human being's only business is inquiring from a bona fide spiritual master about extrication from the entanglement of karma bandha pansa. Thus ends the Bhaktivedanta purports to this verse in the 25th chapter, text number 5. Om Magyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Salakaya Tachur Militanyena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Vancha Kaupata Rubyasya Kripa Sindhu Vaivacha Patita Nam Pavani Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasati Gaur Bhaktavin Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare So we're hearing about how Narada Muni came to meet this king, King Prachini Bharishat. Yeah, yeah. This, this chapter is telling about the meeting between Narada Muni and one king whose name was Prachini Bharishat. The king had sons. The sons of the kings were called the Prachetas. And the king wanted to retire and make his sons rule the kingdom. So the sons, when they went to do austerity, the first they went to do austerity to prepare themselves to become the king. So at that time Lord Shiva met them. And Lord Shiva taught them a song by which they could meditate on the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So Narada Muni wanted to give mercy to the father of the sons, the king, King Prachini Bharishat, because he was a pious king but he was attached to doing karmakandi activities. He wanted to enjoy the benefit of his karmakandi activities. Uh, 
அப்பனாலும் அவர் என்ன பண்றாரு இந்த பிரச்சனைகளுக்கு வந்து உதவி செய்வாரு ஏன்னா வந்து அந்த டீம் அந்த அரசர் வந்து என்ன பண்ணிருக்காரு கர்மகாண்டா தெரியுங்க சுட்டி கட்சி அவங்க எதிர்பார்த்து செய்யற அந்த காரியங்கள் வந்து ரொம்ப ரொம்ப செஞ்சு அவர் வந்து அதுல அப்போ சாப்பிட்டுக்கிறார் அதனால வந்து ஹெல்ப் பண்ண பார்த்தார் முயற்சி கொடுக்க பார்த்தார் நார்மல் So Narada Muni, he told the king that Karmakandi activities will bring you some happiness and will also bring you some distress. You cannot expect that you will get only happiness just by doing Karmakandi activities. So the king is admitting to Narada Muni in the verse today, he's saying that, yeah, he said that, I, I don't know what is the real ultimate goal of life. I've been following, I've, I've learned to do fruit of activities and I've been doing these karmakandi activities, I've been doing these things, I don't know anything more. It's, it's, so he asked Narada Muni, please tell me what is the real goal of life? Mm, the king says, I know I'm doing these activities and it's creating karma. I will get some good results, I may get some react bad reactions also. If you don't chant the mantras right, you get a different result, it won't work. And if you make any mistakes in performing the, the yagya, then you could get reactions, you get sinful reactions. So in material life people want to enjoy the material world, they want to have money, they want to be rich, they want to be in a good family, they want to have beautiful body. <coughs> so Srila Prabhupada is saying Western countries People have all these things, they have money, they have good looks and they have education, but they're not happy. They're suffering in their lives and they even they, they, they live miserable, although there's enough houses and enough food and clothing and, but they're suffering and they live in the street. So although they may have a, a nice body, the, bo the body may be healthy, may be strong, may be ha good looking, but still they're miserable. They're suffering and they're going to suffer more. They'll suffer old age, they will suffer disease, they will suffer also death. So just by doing some thak, some yagya karma kandi activities, it doesn't help. It doesn't solve the problem of material life. It just creates more problems. So 
You do some activity and you get some reaction for it. You may suffer, you may enjoy, but you have to stay in the material world. You don't get free of the material world. So we have to understand the nature of karma, the activities we do, it, it, it doesn't solve the problem of life. You want to know what are the real problems of life? You have to approach the spiritual teacher, you have to have a guru to guide you, to help you to understand the goal of life. So this king, King Prachini Barishat, he was very lucky that he got the association of Narada Muni. So he was able to ask Narada Muni, what are the problems of life and how to solve the problem of life? So this knowledge has to be learned carefully by inquiring from the spiritual teacher. We have wasted so much time in the material world trying to enjoy, trying to be happy, trying to be comfortable here. But we should understand our time here in this world is temporary, we cannot stay here forever. Well, good, but we make so many nice arrangements to stay here, to be comfortable. But then after some time then we have to leave everything. So sometimes people are suffering so much in their material life, they cannot bear to live, they commit suicide. They want to enjoy, they want money, they want fame, they want respect in the society. And when they, go, when they don't get it, then they feel very disappointed and they feel, oh, life has no meaning. And, and they commit suicide. But that doesn't solve the problem. They commit suicide, next life they will suffer more. Next life they will become a ghost, they won't get a physical body. They only have the subtle body. That's the karma, that's the fruit, that's the result of their sinful activity because they killed the body. So they get reaction for that. So it's very important to get the shout, to get a, a association with devotees and to hear from a spiritual teacher. So, 
அதே வேலையில வந்து குரு குரு பிறந்த நம்ம வந்து அவர்கிட்ட இருந்து அறிவுரைகள் வந்து in the association of the spiritual teacher then we have to ask questions and we have to learn how to overcome the material energy how to actually take shelter of the spiritual sky So under the guidance of the spiritual teacher, then we let, we're, he tells us what we need to do to prepare ourselves to get out from this world. We, are very, we get very attached to the material world, we become attached to our family, to our home. We have so many things, we are thinking, this is my family, this is my home. But actually nothing belongs to us. When we come into this world, where we want to get, we're thinking, I will get, I will get. But when we die, then we leave everything. That time we leave, we we'll leave everything. When we come into the world, our hand is closed. We're coming to get, to hold things in the hand. But then when we leave the world, <laughs> yeah, leave everything behind. So we, we have to understand the nature of the material world and we should understand this is not our real home. We don't, we don't belong here. We are thinking, oh no, I am from Malaysia, I, this is my country, but actually we're not. We're all spiritual beings, we're all souls. We're eternal. The, the body is only the dress, but we are all eternally related to the family of Lord Krishna. Krishna said, I am the father and the mother, and he's every, he is the, the parent, he is the one to take care of us and to provide for us. Of course, we still have to work, we have to do our part, not that Krishna does everything, but He arranges that everything is there that we need. Just like Arjuna, Arjuna had to fight. Krishna told him, just become an instrument in my service. So our position is like that also. Krishna is the master and we are his servants. Our job is to try to be an instrument to do some service for Krishna. And we learn about this how to serve Krishna by hearing 
from the spiritual teachers. The spiritual teachers will tell us how we can set, what we can do for the pleasure of Krishna. Just like we offer flowers and fruit, a leaf, water, when Krishna said leaf, that means tosi leaf. Tosi leaves are very dear to Krishna. We like to offer nice foodstuffs to Krishna, but Krishna is not so much greedy to eat our offerings. He wants our love, not just simply our offering. It, Krishna's got many goddesses of fortune in the spiritual world serving him. He doesn't need our flowers and fruits, but he wants our love. So when we offer to Krishna, we have to offer with love from the heart that this is for you Krishna, we, have, we want to offer this to you. Of course it's all Krishna's, everything is Krishna, but still we want to show it, we want to give it to Krishna. It's easy for us to forget Krishna. We can just simply think, I'm the body and we make all arrangements for the comfort of the body. But we will always come to some point where we understand, I'm, I'm dying, I'm getting old, I'm diseased, I'm going to die, I have to give up the body. What am I going to do? So we have to prepare ourselves for that. And how to prepare ourselves? By chanting Hare Krishna mantra and doing service to Krishna. All right, we're here in the material world and we're taking birth again and again in so many different forms of life. We're in the samsara, the, the wheel, just like in the fair, the, a, the, the circus comes to town, they have the big wheel and you go around, you go up to the top and then you come down. So sometimes we go up to the top of the, we go up to Brahma Loka, we go up to the top planets, Swarga Loka, and you come down to earth in the middle and then you go down to the bottom, Patala Loka in the bottom, like that. And then you go through that and then come back up again to earth and can go back. And you can go on continually again and again. So we want to think how to get out of that wheel of birth and death. We want to go back to home, back to Godhead, to the spiritual world. To go to Vaikuntha or Goloka. And there is eternal life there, 
no old age, no disease, no death. So we want to enjoy that place. And when we go there, we will go as devotees to serve Krishna. Krishna is the, the Supreme and everyone is His servant. And they're all happy in the service to Krishna. They enjoy serving Krishna, it gives so much pleasure. In the material world you have to work, if you work in some job, you have to serve people who are nasty, who are wicked and sinful, and who are miserly. But if you work for Krishna, Everyone is happy, everyone. Krishna is very kind and caring, he's very concerned for all his devotees. So we are practicing, we are learning how to serve Krishna, how to become devotees. And the first thing we have to do is, we have to hear, we have to hear regularly about service to Krishna. You can see all these books here, you have to read these books. Right, Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita. You have to read these books, you have to hear about Krishna, Krishna's qualities, Krishna's pastimes. We should want to go there to be with Krishna. Yeah, you saw on television, you see something on television, that's like something but that's not the most important thing. We want to hear the philosophy, how to actually chant, how to become devotee. People may be doing some work for the Tamil community, but it's important to, to cultivate the seed of devotion. The so that seed of devotion is in everyone's heart, it has to be watered regularly and we have to be careful to pull out the weeds. Just like when you grow, you try to grow some vegetables, you have to watch for the weeds because the weeds will grow, they will choke the plant. So we have to know the weed, you have to be able to identify, ah, oh, this is not the plant, this is a weed and you pull out the weed. So the weeds are coming from things like offenses in our chanting or in our service to Krishna. And the weeds are coming also because of our material desires. 
Right, material, we have desires. What do we want? We want, you know, a profit, adoration, distinction. And we say, love, puja, pratishta. These things. This is what keeps us in the material world, desire for these things. And we need the help of the spiritual teachers to get rid of these things. We have to we have to surrender to Krishna. And surrender begins. First of all, we surrender to Prabhupada. And Prabhupada will bring us to Krishna. So the first thing is to take shelter of the Guru, Prabhupada. And he will guide us, he will help us to get rid of all the maya, all the nonsense. Now, of course, people all have mobile phone and they use the mobile phone, they watch so many movies, they watch so many nonsense things on the mobile phone, waste so much time. <laughs> Young girl was telling me last night, you know, she's studying, but she said she gets distracted all the time, she can't study properly because mobile phone. Yeah. People call her, people talk to her, and she will look also mobile phone, she'll look movie and the, so many things on mobile phone. Time when we should be chanting, but on the phone. We spend so much time on the mobile phone, so little time chanting. And we never read the books. To get people to read the books, very difficult for people today to sit and read a book. They're not trained. But Prabhupada wants us to read all of his books. You have to read the whole Srimad Bhagavatam. And you have to read the whole Chaitanya Charitamrita. And you have to read Bhagavad Gita. Nectar of devotion. You want to read all of Prabhupada's books. We don't have a lot of time to waste. If we watch Bollywood movie, if we watch Tamil movie, then oh, so much wasted time. No, we have time to watch movie, no time to read proper book. And we have to be eager to do service for Krishna. So service begins with the tongue, chanting Hare Krishna mantra. Okay, Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada ki jai, go back to Vrindaki. Any question?
Yes. Well, <coughs> well, it's not going to do you any harm, but it's inattentive chanting. If you're doing like that, it's not means you're not giving proper attention to the holy name. So we have to chant with attention when we chant. So we shouldn't add words or leave words out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we said, from inattention what happens, then other offenses come. You commit other offenses, you neglect other instructions. And you will lose your faith in the holy name. So we won't get Krishna Prem if we do like that. But we want, the goal is to get Krishna Prem. So, we have to chant carefully. Okay, Hare Krishna. Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Srila Prabhupada.